Turning now to IG made new court filings in the Delphi murders trial could have a big impact on that trial as it does quickly approach. IG made's Cody Fisher breaks down the filings and what they mean for the case. In the most recent court filings, Richard Allen's attorneys are trying to get specific information thrown out of this case. The most important of which is Allen confessing to killing Abby Williams and Libby German to several people over the course of months. It's hard to reconcile someone being factually innocent with them going around and insisting that he is guilty. So it would be really interesting to see how this plays out and what kind of an explanation they can come up with not only for the confession of the murders, but also for him proclaiming himself basically to be a child molester. Recent court filings show Allen confessed to his wife over the phone, to fellow inmates at the Westville Correctional Facility, and to guards at the facility. Normally, people are not held inside a prison until after they are convicted. The defense is arguing that extreme conditions inside the prison helped contribute to a psychosis, which is when the confessions happened. Allen's attorneys had a mental health expert evaluate him. And I assume her testimony would be a big part of whatever hearing ultimately uh, occurs to decide this. The defense is arguing the confessions were coerced out of Allen. We're all aware now that wrongful confessions or inaccurate confessions or coerced confessions can absolutely happen. And so I think we'll have to scrutinize what are the circumstances of some of these confessions. In a separate filing, Allen's attorneys are also asking the judge to throw out the second interrogation of Allen back in 2022, saying his constitutional rights were violated because he was not properly read his Miranda rights. It seems like the big piece of information that police got from this talk was that he has not loaned his gun out to other people. So it's basically saying no one else could have, you know, borrowed my gun and done something with it out in the woods. If the state loses this, if it gets suppressed, I don't know if there's going to be a huge impact, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. You know, anytime you have the defense able to suppress evidence in a case, that's a win for the defense. Outside of these most recent court filings, we're still waiting for Judge Gold to rule on whether or not Allen's attorneys will be found in contempt of court for leaked crime scene photos that came out of their office in October. Reporting in Indianapolis, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, IT Mate.